what happens when Blue Robbie sheds his cocoon? You get this weird Robbie that looks like a giant Mentos. So, as per every market watch, friendly reminder that this Friday, the 19th, if you're a Digimon fan, Cyber Sleuth 2 comes out. So, make sure you got that shit pre ordered and you enjoy the best goddamn Digimon game. Well, since Digimon World 3. So let's dig on into that market watch with Mentos Robbie. What's good, YouTube, and welcome to the house. Today we're going to be doing our 75th, that's right, our 75th in the last two weeks market watch. And remember, guys, if it's not in the house, it's got to go. Oh, sorry, I kind of got my, my lines crossed there. <laughs> so, what's up, YouTube? Mimical40 here. And we are doing a phenomenal market watch for you guys today. I always just wanted to introduce myself as John Warren. You guys, you guys know I'm basically married to the man for the stream project we're doing. So, we're going to dig right on into this, shall we? So, the first Electromite has showed up on the market, and it can be yours for... 75 USD with $11 shipping in. Hold on, don't let me stop there. You can get nine copies of them at $75 a piece. What a fucking time to be alive. And with feedback like this, you are almost guaranteed to not have an issue. <sighs> That's right. Can be all yours. So, moving on along here god so much money like don't don't do it kids i wanted to kind of use this market watch to just be like if you haven't picked up pendulum magician shit because of chocobo over here well your time to do so it's it's withering away oh so slowly currently wisdom eyes these things are four bucks a piece like look how many of these are available like, every person in this community, even myself, we we hated Pendulum Evolution as a set. The set was so trash, and because they didn't do it as like a starter deck, but conveniently, as time has gone on here, because of this card, we the set has gotten much better, and you need three copies of this. Astrographs, look at this. There are nine copies of this on the market at the moment. What the fuck? And like, four bucks? Four bucks? Well... Real Good Deal has 155 copies, but 375 plus 49 shouldn't shipping. Uh, you, you're saving yourself a little bit of money if you go all the way around here. But what's going on here? Like, you, you might want to consider the Squawker Bats, threes, one Pendulum Calls, two bucks. There's a lot of Harmonizings. There's a lot of Double Iris. Just pick up your core and make sure that you are good. If you haven't already done this, these are the strongest words that I can advise you, because this this is what going to be the third time the Pendulum Magician is going to be swinging back through. Uh, we we had it once on release, and then the second what last format before spirals kind of just shit everywhere, and you're going to be dipping back in for the the third handful of this set. So very very cheap stuff going on here for what you would be expecting for this. Now, Burning Abyss, on the other hand, is probably a little bit more expensive than this. See Dante's Tens? Don't worry about Malakota. We're not, we don't care about that. Seven bucks on the Blur Rares. May as well have a copy of this. May as well, be, hell, for what you would, you, you can bling out this deck to some degree. It's still going to be way more expensive, but your, your cheap core, like 98 cents a piece, like... This would be my sub backup if I if I was if I was like hey, I don't want to play Pendulum Magician, but you at least know we're getting this guy over here, and uh, we don't have any clue when the fuck we're getting Shrubni. So invest correctly and wisely when you're going down this path to making your decision for going up till the WCQ because whatever you pick now is going to be what you're going to be playing at nationals. Um, so please. Please, 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 please advise correctly. That's all I gotta say about that. In addition to the Pendulum Magician side of things, you can pick up a couple Wavering Eyes for a couple bucks a piece. 
few people have been debating on going back and forth and playing this depending on the metagame. Well, I just wanted to point out that the couple bucks a piece you can have hollows. There's a good chunk of these on the thing, but you gotta understand, like, this is something that, like, is going to be strictly stuck to the mirror. So kind of understand what you're getting yourself into if you want to pick up Wavering Eyes. I don't think Wavering Eyes is spectacular, but, 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 if we're going into a format where the mirror match is going to be way more prevalent, you know, spirals possibly get hit on the next list, well, this is something for you to give some consideration to picking up. So... Fair heads up at this current point in time, you probably might want to pick up some Wavering Eyes just to make sure you have them, because they're, they're cheap at the moment. If anything happens, I feel like this is going to blow back up through the roof. Cyframe Lord Omega. These have also been very steadily disappearing from the market. There are five listings for the High Speed Riders one. Now, this might not mean a lot to you guys. 17 bucks is the lowest. But... I do want to point out here that the few copies that are left for Blur, they're 12 bucks. If you're planning on going down the Pendulum Magician path, you're probably going to want one of these because Neo Fiber into Wonder Magician into Omega is it's pretty good. But just kind of take a look here. 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15. You know, like these, there's not a lot of them, but they're disappearing. So. Acknowledge that. So high speed riders, you guys know Gamma's still a lot. Chumbara. Yeah, there's, there's there's still a lot going on in this set. Um we're gonna look up Ancient Cloak really quick. Phantom Knight's bullshit. Ooh, seven bucks. This is another one you might want to consider. Swords, thirteens, fucking sevens on ancient cloaks. You know, pay attention here. I guess remember when these were 50 bucks. Pepperidge Farm does. Pay attention to these because these could very easily reach $20 a copy. Um, depending on the variant in which people are going to focus and want to play PK Fire. Um, just something to pay attention about. 12 is 12 is high for these. I don't feel bad about 8s on cloaks because this is a little bit more friendly in my opinion. But this is... This is going to be rougher. These I could definitely see touching 30s. Absolutely no reason for it not to. Um, who, who, who thought this was a good idea? Who came through here and started buying out VWXYZ Cannon? Like, so... Uh, <laughs> there are no from DR4. They're gone. Your regular versions from DB2 are 10 cents a piece. Um... Super rares are... We don't care about those. But these fresh ultimate rares from Elemental Energy are $12 a piece for light play. Light play, light play. Near Mint is 15 bucks. And what is the highest listing back here, just out of curiosity? 23 for multi-monster deals. What the fuck? What's going on here? Why do why you think this is a good idea? I don't get it. Um, evidently, Ultra Nightmare Sharks were bought out across eBay and um, TCG Player. Um, Alex Buell was the one that let me in on this. This is actually kind of shocking. But if you're going into a format with Burning Abyss, you're like, oh, yeah, you know, metagame has kind of exceeded its expectations. You know, you need a card that's going to OTK, and you don't want to play, like, the shit super air. Well, you're going to go with the Ultra. And it's even if it's a little bit of bling, like for what the market price was at four bucks, like I don't feel bad having a manga promo that kind of ranged at that price. So if you have an Ultra Nightmare Shark, be a little bit hesitant before you sell it because we don't know where the market's going to settle on these yet because they were just bought out. Drastic drop off coming in really hot on the ultis. Five bucks for mod play. We're not about that life. First in your mint seven bucks. There's a couple pages of these. But this card looks like it's had a little bit of hype. Even the ultras back here uh, are good value. DT's coming in at two bucks. Regular drop off, fifteen cents. Be aware when you're playing this that you need to accurately give your opponent windows so that they know that you're going to have cards to activate, or else you're going to be getting all kinds of penalties at the regionals. Guard of Sanctities are also going up. Dr. Threes, twelve dollars, and then Ultimates coming in at who? These are. Actually, something. I, I didn't actually think we were going to get this. 
Top Deck TCG has them at $17 a piece for First Ed Light Play. Uh, First Ed Near Mint's $20. What, what is going on here? And then last but not least over here, Bamboo Swords. Fucking $10 for Light of Destruction ones? What is going on? Like, you always, you always are like, what the fuck's going on with Bamboo Sword? Fucking $10 on Goldens. Brokens? <laughs> Like, how much are these things now? Like, five bucks? Yeah, four bucks for TCG Near Mint. Ugh. This is disgusting. That's all I got for you guys today from Marco Watch. If I missed anything, please feel free to ram me in the comment section down below. Notify other people. Uh, tell them that I'm a big fat phony. And, of course, I have no fucking idea what I'm doing every week when I do Marco Watches. So remember, guys. We're gonna... I wish I could, like, pan out and be like, we're now leaving the house. <laughs> Alright, guys. Later. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.